Apart from all this, in this chapter there has been a coverage of two extreme region of India. One is Leh Ladakh, other is Kerala. Now, what is difference or the lifestyle of the people living in these two different region? Like, first we will proceed with Leh Ladakh. In Ladakh, the re- Ladakh is a region of cold desert. People get water from melting snow. Ships are commonly seen. So we have pashmina wool that is prevalent. There are many people engage in art of wool making and woolen craft. Again, meat and milk are the predominant production. The animals that are seen are goats, cows, and doses. Doses may are the yak cows. Now, this Ladakh region was the route or the trade route from China or the Tibet area. What was brought from this route was mainly textiles, spices, and silk. This region has influence of both Buddhism and Islam and you have a kind of impact of China on the region. Again, this region is traditionally rich in various songs and poetries. So, this was all about Leh Ladakh. Now, let's proceed with Kerala. Kerala region has been highly influenced by Arab travelers and so Arab travelers came to Kerala first in contract to Chinese travelers who came to Ladakh region first. So Jews and Arabs were the first to come here. Again, you have Vasco da Gama from Portugal who came here. Ibn Bhutua has written a lot about the life of Muslims of this region. The vegetation that are seen here is paper, cardamom and cloves. This region is surrounded by sea. So we can say it is a coastal area. Here the fish fishing net which is used by the people is similar to the Chinese word chinwala and the utensil that used to fry was known as china chitti. Here rice and fish was the predominant food habit of the people. So this was all about Kerala and Leh Ladakh. Despite so much diversity that we have seen in terms of dresses, languages, religions, regions, culture and so on, there is a kind of unity across the nation. Now, that unity has been witnessed in the form of various episodes of independence movement. Like Britishers have tried to work around the di- divide and rule policy in India that ultimately failed again and again. We were united together to fight against the Britishers. We had Jallianwala Bagh massacre that happened with General Dyer open firing and the people laid down their lives in the well at the Jallianwala Bagh itself. It was a kind of complete unity where there was no Hindu, no Muslim, no rich and no poor and all the people laid down their life for India. Apart from all this, we also have songs, symbols and anthems which bound the nation much closer. The phrase unity in diversity was first given by Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru when he was trying to explain his feeling in, in his book The Discovery of India. He explained unity is something that does not come from outside. It is something that is witnessed by us from within. So we have a kind of passion or tolerance for something and that ultimately led us for the for this close binding which we called as unity in diversity. So this was all about your chapter. Thank you.